some great tea right there hey you guys my name is trinity if you're new here welcome i do lifestyle and spirituality content i post on this channel as often as i can and if any of that interests you you might as well go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below but if you are not new here welcome back so today i decided to wake up early even though it's 11 40 i woke up at about nine <laughs> and i decided that i wanted to go out and take myself on a date today i decided that i'm going to go to atlanta botanical gardens because i accidentally purchased a um year-round membership and i haven't been since august so i was like you know I, I should i should probably use this today is actually easter sunday i'm kind of just gonna let my day play itself out but i wanted to have a day with myself today and we've also got a super fun important sponsor for today's video which i will talk about a little later on but i'm super excited to tell you guys about this cool ass brand but right now i just called my uber so we're waiting for it to come and pick me up and yeah let me show you guys my outfit so i got this hat from the clothing warehouse in little five points in atlanta you know layered chain gang that's always something that's gonna happen here um this white button down i decided to style i decided to roll up the sleeves which i never have done before and you know i tend to wear this top um tied up in the front anyway i'm not sure how it feels outside it feels it looks hot but it's been cold so i think it's like 60 right now and yeah we'll, we'll figure it out but i got these pants on and these are my infamous rockerwear jeans i'm also gonna wear my white converse with this because i don't know what other shoes to wear and i'm carrying this bag i really like this bag and it's big enough and it's like the perfect picnic bag so i've been carrying this around with me for the past like two weeks so yeah i'm about to finish drinking my tea and then i'm gonna hit you guys up when we get to botanical gardens have a nice day so I just made it into Botanical Gardens and I am surprised that my allergies are not like making me want to die. <laughs> I forgot that there's going to be like bees and stuff out here, but let me show y'all around instead of just looking at me. pretty out here and I'm just like shook that but grateful shook but grateful that my allergies are not acting crazy especially with me being dead smack in the center of the forest oh my god I feel like that was just like the universe confirming take yourself out on a date it's well deserved you just got your heart broken but we're not gonna talk about that <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's just really nice out here and it feels so good like the sun is out and bright But it's like Enough wind and like the shade from the trees. It's just really great out here It feels really great and I just found a whole nother side of the park that I didn't even know existed Like where I was just now like I did not know any of that stuff was there Right now I'm in the kids section and I was just like casually walking here but as I like 
walked in further into the kids section, I remembered that the last time I was here, I actually lost the ring my ex gave me. <laughs> And I, I, I forgot all about it. Like I completely forgot about it um, until I was just walking up like right here, like in this path right here. And it hit me because I remember this little, I don't know if you guys can really see it, but there's like a little bridge that like wobbles when you walk on it, but it's like basically for kids to play in. My inner child um, jumps out uh, many times throughout the day. <laughs> so I remember, I think I lost it on that bridge. Well, right after I got off of it, I realized that it was gone. And I remember being so upset. And back then, this is when I was still like talking, communicating to my ex. We were just trying to be friends, but I don't know. I completely forgot all about it. And like seeing that bridge kind of just like reminded me of that happening. And how it's like, I really like, don't even care you know not even just don't care about that anymore like the ring I think that I think things were meant to happen and I think that it was meant for me to lose that ring because I have been holding on to that relationship for a long ass time and now it's very nostalgic me being able to be here like I, I've been trying to come back for a minute but every time something kind of just got in the way and for me to be here on a date with myself and to be reminded of when I used to date my ex. I feel like that was a little symbolic. You know what, actually now I think is the perfect time to bring up who is sponsoring this video. So a company named Divine Flambeau actually reached out to me um, wanting to do a collaboration and after looking at their website and seeing what they have to offer, I was like, yes, yes, yes. So they've got like an online uh, metaphysical store. They've got spiritual bath kits, uh, manifestation candles, all other kinds of spiritual products like self-help books. They're basically like um, question and answer journals that are like, you do them for like months at a time. And I've actually started to work on a few of the ones that they gifted me. And the one that I brought with me today is called Dating Self. It's a guided journal and it's a four month journal that basically has exercises for personal growth and self-reflection to promote wholeness within one's self and that is kind of the theme of today's events honestly not even today but like this whole year for me well actually kind of like since I since quarantine pretty much but um, I've been on this really big journey of self and I've done hella work towards it um but now I, I love the fact that i can just like sit back and really take the time out of my day to focus on myself and these books very much help me do so so today is journal day 13 and the question says have you ever lost yourself in a relationship while dating i'm gonna answer this question and um i'll be right back wait i forgot to mention they sent me this super cute pen this pen is hella cute and it says i am becoming the best version of me update in a minute but i ended up leaving um, botanical gardens i uh, have walked around pretty much the whole park well i don't know how big that park is i'm gonna have to keep going back another time but i had a lot of fun out there and like i said earlier my camera did pass away sadly 
she she be tripping sometimes and i really wanted to talk more to you guys about just the things that i was thinking and um you know like my thought process when writing down in these journals and stuff like that and i also wanted to talk uh words and i also um was really excited to get back and take me a spiritual bath so that's what i'm about to do right now but first i did want to talk about the company that is sponsoring this video like i said earlier the name is divine flambeau they sent me a plethora of really cute products one of the things they sent me is this candle it says good vibes lilac cotton blossom i release negativity and what no longer serves me it has this really pretty mixture of like glitter and oh this big amethyst is on the inside and there's two other crystals dried up flowers in here as well i really love candles like this and this is the first one that i've ever gotten so i really like this and i've been waiting preserving it because i'm like it's so pretty i don't even want to light it up you know but we're gonna light it right now in a few minutes and then these are the other journals they sent me one is called divine self it is a six month journal with exercises to aid your journey in healing discovery and your divine self path and this one is called and so it is it is a six month daily scripting journal with exercises to assist in manifestation the last thing they sent me is this I've been using it <laughs> I know this, this is something I had to use like I just I couldn't wait till I filmed the video this is a spiritual bath kit and it has um roses I'm sorry yeah it has a uh, dried up rose petals and lemon slices dried up lemon slices and um bath crystals and things like that so I'm very excited I'm about to run my bath water and do a little journaling and we gonna talk out you know how the day's been and um then after my shower or my bath I'm going to get all cute and she <laughs> and then I'm gonna go um get some dinner sit down at a restaurant by myself and get some dinner at a nice vegan spot that I have not been to yet so I'm excited So I don't really remember what I said about what I wrote in this journal while I was at um, Botanical Gardens, but I'm gonna just read it to you guys. So the question was, have you ever lost yourself in a relationship or while dating? And my answer was yes. I have lost myself in every past relationship I've had. I could sit here and talk about the negative tendencies my old partners had, but I'm going to talk about how I allowed myself to bring old trauma into those relationships, which played a large part of their demise. I had a low sense of self and I wasn't aware that I was not only continuing to allow the abuse I faced, but choosing it over and over again. So honestly, looking throughout this journal so far, I've realized that this is very much like a shadow work journal. And if you guys have seen my shadow work um, YouTube video, a lot of people were asking me where I got my questions from and um, where I got my journal from. And that journal was just a normal journal. It was just, it didn't have anything in it. And my questions I randomly chose off TikTok. But I really like these journals because they really help you focus on what aspect of your life you want to work on and I didn't think that the questions were going to be as deep as they actually are like let's just flip to let's use another one and flip to a random page in this one. Oh, I love this okay so now that I'm actually looking through and so it is this one is more like a do-it-yourself exercises and prompts are monthly rather than daily like how they are in the previous journal I just showed but at the beginning it has these cool little guides and scales and like um, definitions oh this is really helpful um, this is so cool yeah that will help you better understand 
what all of this means especially if you're brand new to this this is a great beginner's kit i didn't even realize that it was this helpful and like i said um i've said this in previous videos but journaling was the number one thing that helped me on my spiritual journey because it is one of the best ways to get your thoughts out there like mm, journaling to me is just so powerful so these would really be helpful with anybody and whatever it is that they want to do in their life mm, okay yeah and the divine self one the prompts in here are kind of just um they're like things you need to like get to know yourself a lot more wow okay these are very intentional this is powerful i didn't even <laughs> i didn't even realize that they were this deep but i love this this is so intentional but yeah with that being said you guys can click the link in my description and get a 15 percent off discount code when you shop with divine flambeau i think the discount code is trinity 15 i will put it somewhere on the screen but i truly hope that you guys check out this awesome awesome brand um because they're very intentional and i feel like you guys will really like and not only like but benefit from their products like crazy so yeah definitely be sure to look in my description box and i will also leave a link in the comment section down below um to lead you guys to their websites but right now i'm about to just kick back in this shower and i will see i'm in this tub in the shower but yeah i'm about to just kick back in the shower and i will see you guys when i am getting ready to take myself out to eat all right so i am finally out of the um shower the tub whatever and I'm about to start doing my hair and makeup. Uh, should I, I should start off with my hair. For my hair, I'm going to do a bun. I've actually started to wear buns. Um, well, uh, since like yesterday. I tried it for the first time yesterday and I really liked it. I thought it was super cute. And I like doing different things with my hair. I just don't be knowing what to do <laughs> ever. So I'm gonna do the bun again. I feel like the bun was really classy and it kind of um made my face stand out yeah while i was doing all this i kind of wanted to talk about stuff so basically i wanted to talk about why i love my solitude okay <laughs> more and more i learn <laughs> why i love my solitude and i feel like that is something that's really important because for so long like i i, I wanted to like be with people or like be with somebody like i wanted a relationship um this was mainly when i was like a teenager but now i feel very i felt honestly let's be honest here i have been content with being by myself for a long time but i was more content before my recent heartbreak with being by myself because ever since i've been on my spiritual journey um what propelled me into my spiritual journey originally was a heartbreak and so finally finished healing from that right and then um this new person that just recently came into my life kind of gave me a heartbreak again and this is my first time actually dealing with it while on my spiritual journey and there's a whole youtube video that's gonna come best believe you know this is a self-help youtube channel we're gonna this is a spirituality youtube channel we're gonna talk about it in a little more detail rather than what i'm just briefly mentioning right now but i do feel like it has been a very big difference and since experiencing something like what i have been wanting in a person like most recent person that just broke my heart um literally honestly in the event that i journaled in my manifestation journal like universe this is what i want in a person <laughs> they literally were it <laughs> like that's pretty much all i kind of have to say about that like they were what i had would have wanted in in like an ideal person like spiritual like even the signs that i have been wanting like even the zodiac sign down to the zodiac sign universe <sighs> i'm still getting a little emotional about it but regardless um yeah so ever since like experiencing that and then it's like ripped away from me <laughs> um it's it's been a little difficult to um not not even be oh, completely okay with solitude because i'm still i'm good you know i'm strenate but sometimes you know you do want attention um or just you know a little romance in your life a little sneaky link you know what I'm 
and that's okay you know that's that's fine it just sucks because it's just like damn like really this shit couldn't work out people just gotta deal or come to find things out about themselves on their own i think i know i don't think i know and i can't really force anybody to do shit that they're not ready for and that's 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 facts like that see i think i need to focus on wrapping my hair up before i say anything else okay so i think my bun is decent i don't know is it like lopsided mm, doesn't matter no i get i don't care i i'll fix it later regardless i do love my solitude right um, I love the fact that I am not always constantly available to people and I'm learning how to not be available even more so um, given my uh, newfound ability <laughs> to better establish boundaries with the people in my life and this means everybody and y'all were making really good comp y'all were making really good <laughs> y'all were making great comments on my last video talking about how um some people uh well, well, somebody what's somebody say I'll, I'll put it i pinned it i'll put a screenshot on the screen but they were like uh the only people who don't the only people who don't like you establishing about some something like that i can't even i can't even remember jesus jesus christ jesus jesus Christ. but yeah y'all were y'all were spitting facts and a lot of people were saying that they feel like we had the same childhood and i'm like damn that's crazy like I knew, you know, like, it's like a stereotype that, like, a lot of black people were, you know, raised the same. But, you know, it's very interesting. Like, I just be feeling, I don't be feeling like my life was all so unique. But it, it being able to relate to other people about the things that I went through in my childhood actually sucks. Because it's like, why would I want to relate about trauma? Like, I don't want to, I don't want to relate. Like, I would prefer that we, a lot of us, did not have to go through these really shitty things in order to become the people that we you know are today and and I, I see that we're breaking generational curses and stuff like that which is phenomenal it's fantastic i i love it i love that we're taking initiative and you know finding our purpose and things like that um that's that's a beautiful thing that's a beautiful beautiful thing um but it just it does it sucks but you know i mean things things do happen for a reason and we're figuring it out I have trust that we're figuring it out. But yeah, regardless, saying that to say that I, I thoroughly, <laughs> thoroughly enjoy my solitude because the more and more I I, I learn things and I just experience and, and yeah, learn things, but not just learn things, but learn things through experience. I'm like, yo, like what is good with y'all? <laughs> like, what is good with y'all? Like you meet people and they they present themselves to be one way and they turn out to be not what they immediately you know presented themselves themselves as and it's like damn like honestly like the one person i'm gonna rely on when, when everything is said and done the one person that i need to be able to rely on is myself and and having that relationship with yourself is phenomenal and i'm i'm, I'm appreciative i'm appreciative more and more of my my work towards myself every day if that makes sense yes that makes sense let me stop doubting myself um i just like being able to rely on me because it's like shit like i be trying to make friends i mean i have i have friends but like i be trying to um trust that these people you know will you know come through if if if, if need be come through um, and sometimes that just don't be the case. And it's just like you live and you learn and you you listen to people the first time. Because I've had a um, history of not doing that. But you listen to people the first time they show you exactly who they are. Because them niggas don't be lying, okay? They don't be lying. In some cases that sucks. But, you know, there's a lot of people on this planet. And that's what I'm learning. There's a lot of people on this planet. Me, I tend to get stubborn. When I like somebody, I like them. It's like, I want you. You know, even though I'm not even monogamous, like, I'm just, I'm really just living my 20-year-old life right now, having fun and things like that. It's just, I, I do get a little stubborn sometimes, not gonna lie. Like, with the last person I was talking to, I got, <laughs> I was very upset when things ended, because, for one, it was hella abrupt. 
like I was just trying to establish boundaries and you know talk things out and they kind of just got mad like and that shit was just mm, I don't even want to like really go down that rabbit hole but it just really sucked I'm learning more and more that it's okay for things to suck and for things to not work out because I mean y'all y'all see in my videos like I'd be pretty positive I would say about you know understanding that rejection is divine protection but that don't mean that I can't feel these feelings um you know I can I can still you know feel the hurt feel the pain that it did cause cry about it um things like that because cry about it I sure did do <laughs> I do feel like I'm talking about this a little too much so I'm gonna stop because I have a whole video coming out about it but regardless um let's talk about this makeup right I have never been the person to do makeup so please don't come for me I've had this MAC foundation it works phenomenally I've had this for years like, I cannot tell you if it had an expiration date I hope it don't but it would be expired by now my friend was over here shout out to Ari I know she She's one of my main only friends that really Ryan and Ari are like the only one of my friends in real life who be watching my videos or that I'm aware of. Corey might watch them too. Um, hey y'all. But um she came over here the other day and we were gonna go out to, to eat. We were going to like a bar. And she was like, Where is your setting spray? And I was like, what the fuck is that? Like, what is I was like, what is what is what is that? And it's like I've heard about it, but I truly don't know what it's used for. And she was like, you ain't got no aloe vera or like water or like nothing that like I can like, I look dry. And I'm like, no, you look fine. And she's like, no, I look dry. I got these tiny stud, diamond studs from um, Claire's. Oh, and I also, I got these earrings from the beauty supply store. They're just these gold diamond hearts. I need to start getting jewelry from the beauty supply store. Cause look, like it won't, oh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but like it won't close. We got the Prada bag on us today. Still don't know if it's fake. Got it from the thrift, so it might be, but they don't know. But yeah, something that I've been doing recently, I put I put all the chats in my phone on mute. So it's like everybody on mute. If you ain't my mom, well, I think my I be putting my mom on mute sometimes too. Um, cause it's just like things be important. Um, I feel like Morty's saying this. Have y'all seen that episode of Rick and Morty where they got the toxic part sucked out of them and then they <laughs> went like about their lives and Morty was like, oh, I just got a new phone. Uh, whatever whatever it is, it's worth saying in person or something, something like that. So I just be feeling like I'll see your text when I'm meant to see it. And I also don't, I have, I have too been addicted to my cell phone at, you know, certain points in my life i don't want to do that again a song that i have had on repeat since like yesterday is um nights like this by kalani i literally went years not understanding who she was <laughs> like i didn't know like I, I had seen her before but you know i i didn't know she was a singer like people would always just be like oh my gosh she's so you know and i'm like saying yeah she's she's really pretty like who is this <laughs> like what did she do like i didn't understand what she did and uh, eventually I found out she was a singer, but I never like listened to her like that and yesterday I was in Urban Outfitters and I heard I I'm assuming that it was nice like this. I don't remember. I probably should have asked Siri I didn't and I knew that the only Kalani song that I had that I never listened to that was in my album already Was nights like this so I started listening to it and I fell in love. I'm about to change clothes I've got this gold button-down top and I think I I'm gonna either wear my black jeans or over or these are black corduroy pants or all reliable Actually, let me put the corduroy pants on right now. I just thrifted these pants and I've never worn them So we're gonna see what how I'm feeling in them and then I'm gonna wear my black brats heels and i will come to y'all when i'm done getting dressed <laughs> okay so here is my outfit yeah this is pretty much it <laughs> it's a, a gold button down top that i thrifted and then i am trying it with these black corduroy pants i'm filming on this camera which is difficult because my other one is charging before i leave but yeah so i look great as always um the pants are like a corduroy material and then i'm wearing my black they're like these Bratz boots. I'm wearing these right here. I just caught the Uber, so I'm waiting for it to pick me up. And I 
smell really great actually this is what i'm wearing this is the fragrance that i got on at the moment i got this from urban outfitters i got it yesterday because i decided that i really wanted to start wearing perfume and i figured let's just go to where did i go perimeter mall and we went to urban outfitters and that was the one that i found that i really liked um i guess i could take off my scarf now so we can see how these edges turned out yep they look great but yeah so i've got my prada bag to go with this fit the the browns the neutrals whatever and yeah i guess i will see you guys when i get to the restaurant it's called cafe sunflower um and it's actually like a vegan restaurant so everything is vegan and i went yesterday but i'm gonna go by myself and try something new it might give me a little dessert or whatever so i'll see you guys when we get there so i just made it to the restaurant um like i said it's called cafe sunflower it's like vegan vegetarian actually no i think it's all vegan all vegan food sadly i'm finding myself being really self-conscious about being not just being here by myself but like filming it i don't know hopefully i warm up and be like eff it i don't care what other people think um but yeah my server is nice she said she liked my shoes <laughs> Y'all, they're playing with Lil Smith in here. This is me trying to calm myself down. It's lit. They're playing with Lil Smith in here. Oh my god. I'm gonna just take that as a sign. Just intentional. You know, it was long as this one. It's time machine, too. You always see, like, whenever people play Willow, they always be, like, playing her, I don't want to say mainstream music, but, like, when Wait a Minute blew up on TikTok, like, people were like, oh, wow, this is a Willow Smith song. I enjoy this song, and this is the only song that I'm going to act like exists. But they're playing time machine. That's dope. That's dope. So, I just ordered some shrimp tacos, and she said that they're big bus, so we're going to be the judge of that. I'm pretty sure they do. Um, I'm excited though. She's about to bring me the dessert menu because I'm gonna go all out. You know, I was gonna do a little three course meal, but the appetizer I wanted, they didn't have it. And I was like, nothing else looked really appeasing to me, which is okay. So I'm just gonna get the fish taco, I mean, the shrimp tacos, and probably like some cake. I'm glad that I ended up coming out because I was like procrastinating a little bit to come out here, but it's all good. Do y'all hear that? Do y'all hear that? Nothing plans. Summertime in Paris by Jaden and Willow Smith. Who is on the ox? Who is on the ox? Everybody getting tipped in this bitch tonight. Everybody getting tipped. Oh God. Look at this. All vegan and it don't even have soy in it. Like that's a good ass meal right there. Okay. Okay. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna finish eating and then I'll come back because I don't talk when I eat. I get straight to business. So if anybody, any of y'all want to take me out ever, take me somewhere to eat that's got good ass vegan food and don't expect for me to say much while eating because I like to inhale my food. But let me stop talking and let me get to work. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I didn't get no new part. Okay, so she just bought me the strawberry cheesecake. I'm sorry, strawberry shortcake. And this is what it looks like. This is really good. Now that I think about it, I think that this is the same cake from another vegan spot that's actually in um, <laughs> Little Five Points. It's called Govinda. So I didn't finish this whole um, cake, but I'm gonna take it home because I'm on my cycle and I feel like this is going to slap at 3 a.m. It's probably gonna be better at 3 a.m. than what it is now. <laughs> So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it home and um, eat it there. But other than that, I mean, this is pretty much the end of this video. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed filming this. This is something new for me. I've been wanting to do a lot more solo content. I just haven't gotten around to actually doing it. But now that I've kind of like started it already, you know, like push that first domino over, I'm going to just keep doing this. This is going to be something that I actively do. So um, if y'all know of any spots in the city that I should try to eat at or to just take myself on a date, um, let me know. I'm very grateful that Divine Flambeau wanted to collaborate on this video. So definitely be sure to check out their website. I am wishing them all the success in their business. Um, so yeah, other than that, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Always remember to comment, like, subscribe. Same as always, you guys will see me in the next video. What I've come to learn over the years is that many of us experienced babies having babies. Our parents might be 40, 50, 60, but in many cases, they are still dealing with traumas from their childhood. And until they move past that, they won't be able to give us the TLC we truly need because of something I like to call projection.